So once you ran the make command, after that what you need to do is just type src slash redis server and you can see that it will start the redis server and currently it's running on this port 6379 and the IP address of my instance is mentioned over here in my PHP file where I'm trying to connect to the Redis client. So here there's a syntax error actually. So this is how we'll be connecting. Now let's go ahead and run this and see it in action. How it connects to our remote server. So I'll be clicking on this run server and let's go ahead and print something over here so that we know that it has connected. And here you can see that now it is connected to my AWS EC2 instance on this port 6379. So that's how easy it is to actually connect to our Redis server using PRedis or Predis client in our PHP. So in the next lecture onward, we will be starting with the basics of Redis and how we will be using it in our project.